presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not <laughs> counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Bruce and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay and I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Kicking into May, pretty wild. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you gotta serve the one you love to take. In every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 718, NASDAQ's up 433, SP's up 117, gold contract up $6.10, trading at 1894 an ounce. You get silver down to 28 cents, $23.17 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 343. 105.44 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 11 ticks, trading at 119.14. The 30-year off six at 141.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 638 ticks, trading out at 103.589. The Euro is at 105, the Yen is at 130.88, and the British Pound is at 124 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you get a big bounce here. There's no two ways about that, man. Percentage wise, this is a decent bounce. You get percentage wise, what we have here is that you get the Dow, uh, NASDAQ rather, up 3.4%, 2.7 in the NASDAQ, 2.1 in the Dow Industrials. That being said, you take a look at the SPY, you get 71 million shares, bottom line, you come into uh, 132. Now, the way this is set up, there's no reason I can't go back to ICE, okay? So you came down with, here's the bearish part. The bearish part is it didn't get to the bottom of the test. The test is 410. You can see that bar sticking out there. It's a monster bar. We got to 416. So my take is what you'll see out here tomorrow. You get over the highs. We'll see if they can hold. You can have lighter volume. Once again, you have, you have lighter volume now, but you get lighter volume tomorrow. And we'll see if it holds price. If it does hold price, then you can get to ice. Ice would be 436. Right now, you're 429. And as you get up to that point, you'd probably come up and you'd have a contraction of volume simultaneously when that's happening. What is intriguing, no doubt, is that uh, we are coming into window dressing. So... Uh, there's going to be plenty of funds that, you know, bottom line, we'll put money into the marketplace, end of the month, beginning of the month. NDX 100, same type of setup. The difference in the NDX is it has been the weakest, still the weakest out here in a big way. So what we have here is that you got, uh, you you're up 12 bucks right now. Uh, what the NDX did do, that is the one that broke the, the swing high, the swing lows. Let me put this on a weekly for a second because I want to see this on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly, first low going back, the, the week of uh, the 25th of February was 381. The second low was 414. This low, yeah, okay, cool. So what you're going to have here is this. If, you, if you're watching Tiger TV and you're watching my screen, this low here is going to have heavier, heavier volume than the last low we had. That says we come back down. That's how it, because see, you're going against, what you're going against here is the low that was established at 297, and that had 444 million. 
So bottom line, first one, as I said, had 381. Second one had 414. Right now, with one more day left, we are at 394. So that's going to come in at about four. Might come in at five. Yeah, might come in at 500. So well, you get the gist of it. Well, let's do this in the spy, too. Okay, so I'll take the spy, put this. This didn't hit the bottom, but I just want to see how these volume calculations are coming in. Okay, so in the spy, the volume we're going after is 593. We're at 417. That's going to be lighter volume. That's going to be lighter volume. There's no doubt about that. Just didn't get to it. So. We'll see how that baby shakes out. And after the close out here today, and we'll go over, we're going to have Amazon, we're going to have Apple. Let's go into the gold contract first. So gold contract, bottom line, went all the way back to where it broke out from. You did get a rejection of lower price. I mean, these, if you're just getting your head wrapped around technical analysis, folks, okay, these are pretty cool charts to look at because they don't set up this clean a lot of the time. And you got to see, this was so clean, it's insane, actually. You know, yeah. You broke topside, okay? You know, you were, you were trying to break the 1883. We got up there a couple times. Then when you did break it, okay, we went from 1873 to 1906. And that's what it just did. It came all the way back to that level. And uh, bottom line, we'll see if we can get some juice. The uh, rate, oh, this is good. It just got back in, uh, inside 1893. Because um, that's where it broke down from, okay? So now you're back in a higher range inside of the gold contract. Now, the hard thing to comprehend, and I've been in this gold market since heavily since 2000, is gold being this high and the dollar bottom line being this high. This, is, this looks to me, you know, uh, so check this out. I mean, this is pretty intense, even what I'm saying, because I'm still a gold bull, but it looks to me, man, that this dollar is actually gonna break higher. That's what it looks like. I mean, when I take a look at this, you know, it's not going to take much. I mean, I actually, I got to put it back further. So watch this. I got, I got to put this back 30 years to get some clarity about where we are. Now, the, the intriguing part is that, you know, you can see that your, your setup, you know, it, it hasn't got a decisive break yet. You know, I, I talk about this a lot. When you break topside or downtown, you got to get away from the break. But guess what? If you break topside, man, bottom line, game is 2,000 highs in, in the dollar, which is uh, 121. That's about to be a long way up. We'll see how it shakes out. You know, with, with gold, with gold hold, well, yeah, let's go, let's go over to the yen because we go over the yen also. And you can see that the Central Bank of Japan couldn't handle the yen. They claimed uh, when they came out, what, it was all the way down here, down at the... Uh, the 30th of March, they came out and said they wouldn't let it go by 1.30. Well, look what happened, folks. It's 130.91. It went to 1.31 today. Now, let's bring this back and put that on a 30-year. Oh, this is a big break, too. We broke that. Yeah, so the, the enemy wants to go higher, meaning gets weaker against the U.S. dollar. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 709. We get the NASDAQ uh, up 428. S&P's up 115. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. Um, you got, uh, oh, let's go for Facebook. Facebook's up 30 bucks. You get Apple up seven. Uh, Teladoc Health. We're going to get into that, too. That is a smoking down 22 bucks, trading to $33. Well, let's start with Facebook. Facebook came out with numbers last night. Bottom line, market liked what Zuckerberg had to say. Yeah, this is gonna, you know what's going to be interesting about this, folks? Let me show you something, because when we did this last night, I believe Facebook was the one that couldn't take out its swing high from the last time. So you're up. Oh, I was on a weekly. Put this on a monthly. Okay, so on a monthly. You're definitely coming into the, you can see, I mean, if you're, if you're looking just like, when you talk about floors, I mean, you, you can see how large the floor actually is here that Facebook went into. That being said, let's go back to the daily a second because it doesn't, it's not telling me anything here. Hey, we'll see if it, well, we'll see whether we get, uh, you know, any juice up to uh, 215. 215 was the last time you had any volume on the way down. But this is not really, this is not impressive out here, even though I, I percentage wise it is. But guess what? <laughs> it, it can't make it up to that little pop that we had uh, a week and a half ago at 218. That's the swing. The, it, the swings are that important. That's, that's what it comes down to, folks. Uh, that is Facebook. What was the, let me go back to that most list for a second. Oh, yeah, Teladoc. Okay. So, TDOC. This one is pretty intense, man. And you're going to see... You talk about highs to lows. This is this this one here really shows just how high we were, you know, in the pandemic. Okay, so you had a high up here. This has been a one-way route from three hundred and eight dollars. Um, now the way this is structured, folks. Okay, this looks to me like it's going to go to twelve bucks or nine bucks to go out of business. That's how it looks. Now you want to see something? That, of course, the news is everywhere. This is one of uh, Kathy Wood's very large holdings. This is a. HDC, one second, PH. This is a very tough deal in general. But I'm going to show you that, you know, when you have a lot of money, folks, you know, the Goldmans of the world, they can keep doubling down, tripling down, because guess what? They, you know, they have as much money as they want, okay? Man fund managers can't do that. But guess what? That's what she's been doing. And I'll show you this. You know, you can see this right at the very top. See this? 
19.4 million shares she owns, 12% of the thing. The last buy, guess what, was in between January and March 31st. And what we don't know is how many more shares she bought after that. Actually, no, we would. Uh, that's the last buy because what happens is once you own over 5% of the equity, you got to file every single time. But that's a pretty intense deal that, you know, you're buying. It's one thing buying. There's another thing, you know, I don't know how many times she's doubled or tripled down on the way down. But I suspect the way that that fund works is that, well, actually, we can let's, let's look at it right now, is that the more money that comes in, she probably decides that she wants a certain percentage of the holdings in the fund in, you know, uh, certain equities. Okay, so I just pulled this up here. These, these are her equities. So she owns 9% of Tesla, 7% of Zoom, 6.8 of Tel, uh, Teladoc, 6% of Roku, 6 Coinbase, 5.8 Exact Science, 5.6 Block, 4.4 Unity, 4 Twillow, and uh, 3.8 the UPath. Bottom line, it's been a rough trip. There's no two ways about that. So we'll see where this whole thing goes. But um, that's about as intense as you can get. And the correlations uh, to that fund, you know, there's been plenty of people that brought the correlations up to that fund to the aspect of there was a couple big funds in the 90s that, you know, yeah, they did really well for two or three years. And then guess what? See ya, don't want to be ya. So let's, I wouldn't want to be her. That's for sure, man. And you know what's so wild, folks, in this, this story, actually, also, is that she moved to St. Pete. Her office is literally right down the street from me. Um, and I see her quite a bit. And I don't know, I don't know her. I don't talk to her. I don't know her personally. Um, but she, what, when she came to town, and this is, this is always, this is like a, ba a Basil thing. And, and what it is, is that Basel, I remember always talking about the high rises and, you know, what happens at, at highs. Well, she came to town and she, it was a big la di da deal, and it should be, okay, because it's great, you know, that her friend, she's bringing it to town, and we appreciate it. Um, and then they're, they're opening, though, the ARC Innovation Center. And I said, I says, oh, man, I says, okay. So we're going to put a big name, ARC Innovation Center. It's right down, it's literally right down the street from me. Um, you get the gist of it, though. It's like, oh, when all that stuff happens one after the other, it's like, okay, man, is, you know, this, it seems that many, I don't know whether it seems that many times that it just happens like that, or we always remember the ones that they just did something on the top of the press, and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you see the downside of it. Uh, it's pretty wild. Okay, let's go to the big dog, man. Let's see where good old Amazon it, oh, CMGI. Oh, my God. Yeah, someone just brought up CMGI. That, that was definitely... Let me, I just want to see this for a second. I gotta, is this company still around? Because if you were never around, CMGI, take a symbol, M-L-N-K. Look at this. Now it's called... Let me do this for a second. MLNK, is this going to be, because what had, what had happened is that I remember when I was on the air there, every person was calling about CMGI. It was the hottest, no, that's not it. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go to the big dark for a second. We, we take a look at Amazon. Okay, so, Amazon Right now, it's trading 29.14. They're going to look to do 116 million and bring eight dollars and forty cents to the bottom line. We take this, put this on a weekly. We have this low at 26.71, and we hit 27.15. Unreal. I'm still taking a shot that this thing wants to test this high volume low. You know, this is not a bad setup. It certainly isn't because, it was, well, let's, let's look at this. Hold on. You're coming into it with 33, no, 13 million versus 23. They come into it for less volume. There's no doubt about that. That's on the weekly. Let me put this on the monthly. 
because we're close to the bottom at the end of the month. So in the monthly, look at this, this is, you just didn't hit it. I'm going that it wants to hit it, the 2671. Hey, we'll see how this goes. And then let's go take a look at Apple. Well, you know what's intriguing too? I wanted to, wanted to bring up, you know, you, ha you had the GDP. This is the first time that the GDP contracted. The thing that's amazing about that contraction of the GDP, folks, okay, is that we know everything costs more money. So you really got to take the, the correlation between inflation is up 8%, the GDP is down, what, 1%? If, if inflation wasn't in there, does it, remember, GDP is gross domestic product, gross product, okay? The gross product should have been tremendously higher, not lower. Stay right there. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 700. Nasdaq's up 428. S&Ps are up 111. Let's go take a look at Tesla. And this is going to be a special one because this is for Philip over in the Netherlands. And Philip's 13. And, you know, the last time, so his dad's Kenneth. So, Kenneth, so check this out. The, you know, the last time that I did Tesla, um, and it was a father and son duo then also, and I'm, man, I just hope this son actually still owns Tesla because <laughs> this is when Tesla was like, I don't know, Tesla might, this is pre-split and Tesla might have only been like $30. Anyway, let's take a look at Tesla. So we got the high out here of Tesla for the last 12 months is 1243. The low is 546. They, next time they come out with the numbers is July of 26. This time they, bottom line, took an 18 billion Made 322 of the bottom line. Next time, 18.5, 231 to the bottom line. So, pull this up. You certainly got a rejection of price out here today, but we got to put this on a weekly first. So, let's 
I'm going to change this to a monthly. The, bo I, 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 the bottom line, I wouldn't be buying it just yet, that's for sure. I let this baby shake out a bit. Uh, you see, you're, okay, so you're, once you, oh, this is interesting, man. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. When I was just looking at this, I'm say, I was just going to say 3 March of 21. You can see that March of 21 bar? That's interesting. This might be a rejection of lower price on this March bar. So you can see this March bar, and that's going to be the March bar of 2021. The high of that bar is 873. The low is 539. Bottom line is that if you do close over 873, uh, tomorrow, I think tomorrow's the last trading day, right? Um, let me just see this for a second. Where is my calendar? Come on. Yes, tomorrow's the last trading day. So that's the number. I mean, on a short on a short term basis, that would be a trade. I would I'd still be careful of it, but that would be. See, so you're going into eight. You're going into 943 million shares, and you did 473. So that would be a rejection of lower price with light of volume. I'm going to put this on a weekly now. The weekly doesn't look right. So the weekly is uh, still, a, you know, you got off of that bar, but the, vo the volume is way too high. We put it on a daily. And on a daily, you can see that 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 seven hundred dollars is still sticking out. I'd I'd wait. That's the bottom line. I'd wait on that baby. And uh, that seven hundred dollars is still sticking out. Okay, so let's get over to Apple. Apple's also going to come out after the close today. I think Apple Apple normally comes out at like five past four. Normally they say, yeah, Amazon comes out. AI, they're like Google. They come out like a split second. They, I think they want to have people understand that they time clock everything and they, they don't kick around. They don't fool around at all, right? Okay, so now let's look at this. So we got Apple's up seven bucks. Let's see what they're looking at right here. They certainly have plenty of cash. We know that. Okay, so revenue. Okay, they're going to be looking to do 94 billion. You know, this is that's down. I mean, this is always like this. The biggest quarter is last quarter, and they bring a dollar forty-two to the bottom line. You can see the growth statistics on Apple. You know, are not there. Well, I say not there. They're, they're there because they're truly two trillion dollar company. But uh, you can see these are three year stats. Okay, so. You know, the United States or the Americas in general, South America, North America, you know, they're growing like 3.7% a year. Europe, four. China, China's going to be a problem for them. You know, they're, they're, they're not big in China. They're at 3% in China, 3% in Japan. Okay, that being said, let's see what we have here. You can expect, we know we can expect a monster buyback, right? Now, let's put this on a weekly. Yeah, this has this 164. So this is pretty wild. So watch this, folks, okay? On the weekly, let me put this on the monthly. On the weekly, it was it's getting ready to reject the 164, which would be a rejection of lower price. On the monthly, this is going lower, man. There's nothing. Look at this this chart. This is sick, actually. I just opened this up, right? Can you see like you got one thirty-seven. Yeah, this this stock. My my take is this stock's gonna pull back, and I, it, it, you can see from one thirty-seven on, you had no volume all the way up. You know, so I can picture that. You know, why there's some buy in there. You gotta hide somewhere, man. The real question is, is that is that gonna be a good place to hide or not? Um, you know, when you look at the amount of equities that are down and how far they're down, folks, okay? Um, it doesn't look to me like there's a lot of places to hide out here. Uh, okay, GDX. Let's take a look at the GDX. 
Let's see what we have here. GDX comes back to the breakout area. You had light of volume today. It's rejected price. Now you're going to need a sign of strength, man. That's, that's what you need. We put this on. That's on the daily, on the weekly. It's a mess. When I say it's a mess, the reason it's a mess in the weekly, on the monthly, it's not bad. But you can see on the monthly, see what happened here? On the monthly, you can actually see that it went to higher price with lighter volume. And then you should get support in the GDX at about 34.69. That's how this shakes out. Because the support's going to be held from the other side. And, of course, all of that is going to have to do with the uh, aspect of, you know, where that good old U.S. dollar is going. We take a look at J.P. Morgan. I'm going to take a look at a few of the banks. Look at this. The banks still can't move. This is amazing, man. This is absolutely amazing. These banks can't move. Look, look at this. We have a, a rally that's extraordinary, and J.P. Morgan is up a dollar forty-nine, and it was down. You know, it's it's not even over the highs of yesterday. The highs of yesterday was one twenty-three fifty-six. Yeah, this this is saying flat out, folks. Okay, that you know we got a recession coming. It's coming at you fast and furious, and. That GDP number this morning, you know, it doesn't take, you know, basically a um, scientist that sends things to the moon to figure out you have a contraction of the GDP, but yet every price that we have is up, you know, inflation-wise, 10 to 30 percent. Like, really? Gross domestic product. You add up all the, add the pluses, you get the gross domestic product, gross numbers, all the prices are going up. If you go through any of these numbers, you know, some of the numbers in all these companies, they, I mean, they're, they're pumping them up. Microsoft, what did they pump it up? 20%. They said right in, right in their numbers. So what's supposed to happen there is that your gross domestic product should, go, should have gone up dramatically. And guess what? It didn't. What does that mean? That means you get underlying weakness in the economy. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for Dave's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 660. S&P's up uh, 110. NASDAQ up 664. Now, you got to see this, folks. So this is, it, what this story is about here, well, the, the story is about what I'm going to talk about, but I just want you to understand something here because this absolutely blows my mind. But I've seen it over and over, and then people wonder why it, people can lose so much money inside the marketplace. And it's because the sellers on Wall Street, <laughs> meaning the, the salespeople on Wall Street, are so <laughs> intense that I can I would love to hear what one of these calls come off at. Let me see. Here's Carvana. Because you gotta see this, this deal that they just pulled off. So Carvana, okay, that's the, you know, the operate the online platform for buying used cars, the whole ball of wax. The low is happened to be today, fifty-eight dollars, the high is three seventy-six. If you take a look at their revenue model, okay, the bottom line is that they take, you know, last quarter they took in three point five billion, they lost two dollars and eighty-nine cents. Well, they plan on taking $16 billion in for the year, still losing money. Next year, they plan on taking $20 billion in, still losing money, okay? Then we take a look at this chart. So the chart on, I'm going to just put this on a four-year weekly, okay? And what you're going to see, the bottom line is that, you know, four years ago, uh, no, two years ago, we started off at 63 bucks. It gets all the way up to a price point of three hundred and seventy-six dollars, and this is a losing. A company that has always lost money, so we just went from three seventy-six down to sixty-four. Now this is a monster ABC structure on the way down. You know, when I when I look at this, it's like okay, your A point on this is two forty, your B point is let's say a hundred. That's one hundred and forty bucks. That's saying that you're going to ten dollars. That's how this shakes out. The amazing part to me, and this is, and this this happens a lot, folks. Okay, they well here, look at, look at where's this down there? There's twenty two dollars. It looks like it wants to break it all. Now here's the amazing part, though. They just floated three billion dollars in bonds, and guess what? These bonds are non recourse with, with without. Okay, they don't. There's no collateral, and they paid ten point five. 10.25%. Now, to me, that is absolutely insane that someone would invest that kind of bread in a company that hasn't made money, doesn't make money, have no collateral, and you're getting 10.25%. Now, here's the deal. I don't know the whole deal, but this is what I'm suspecting. You got Apollo. Let me just look at something for a second. Okay, so... Uh, CVNA, because what we want to do, I want to see if Apollo, because what happened is that Apollo bought 50% of the bonds. Now, these bonds, they just got registered yesterday. They're already down 11%. Just say, so you've already, you've already lost money on them. I was just curious, because if you, if you look at, the, Apollo has something going on here, because Apollo bought 50% of them, um, and they had upped the amount of bonds that they were pushing on the marketplace, and I suspect Apollo was moving them out in smaller increments to someone else. It's, the, the, the bottom line is, it is amazing to me that people do that on a continual basis. And they're probably telling them that they're safe, but, but guess what? That company looks like, you know, see, I don't want to be. The, the thing that blows my mind is that, you know, in a down market or any type of market is that, you could get that type of money on a non-recourse loan with no collateral. I mean, think about that. That's unbelievable. That's crazy. Okay. 
X-A-U-H-U-I. Let's see what we have here, man. Let's see if we can get a bottom in on this. So the Gold Bugs Index, I mean the XAU first, went right back to its breakout area. We do have lighter volume, there's no doubt about that. We've had it the last few days. And now you can see whether we'll get a sign of strength. That's the bottom line, is that when you come off something like this, you're looking for a sign of strength. NVDA, NVIDIA. NVIDIA's got a good bounce going. This is an equity to watch. Why? Because if they can actually get the semis going, you know, that gets the NDX 100 going, that gets the market going. Right here, this has been a straight move down. You know, we have the highs that were generated at 346, you're at 197, and you can have volume at these lows. Yeah, this is the, you know, this, this can bounce up to 208 or something, but there's not much more there. We take a look at, uh, oh, Qualcomm, I want to see, because Qualcomm, this is, they came out with good numbers last night. And Qualcomm, okay, good, at help price. Okay, so you're up 13 bucks. Um, you got some volume behind the move, so we'll see what they can get up into this. Uh, what you want to watch for, folks, on these follow throughs, if you get follow through, is will, can these equities that have got smoke, can they take out the first swing point that they're going after? And if they can't get up or take out the first swing they're going after, that is going to be a huge problem. Because what that normally, what to me what that indicates is that you have large sellers underneath that swing pushing product out in the marketplace. Let's get over and take a look at the S&Ps. You know, it's amazing that when you get nice markets like these, that the S&Ps can bounce around 20 points in a, like a heartbeat. So we, we reached the... You know, 43.03, and, you know, bottom line, just gave up 20 points. Now the real question is, do you give up another 20 points? Let me just see this number here. Okay, come on. Okay, so we are, it's 3.48, you're eight minutes into this bar. So the, the, the bar prior to this, yeah, you get volume coming out of these. Okay, so, so another question is, what's the last volume on the way up? So that's right there. That's 42.59. So 42.59 is game right now. Because the top of that is 71. I think it will blow the 71 away because the volume is accelerating. If 41.39... And this bar is just getting made. So that's on the S&P. The NQs. NQ. Okay, so the NQs have actually given up 100 points already, but that's a, that's quicker than the NQ. But what's intriguing about the NQ, the NQ couldn't even get over the highs of Tuesday, so... That says quite a bit also. Okay, so the NQ right there, what is that? 13,373. So it looks like to me the NQs get down, you know, that's another 100 points. We'll see where that shakes out. If that's what you have, what you are going to see in the context of the daily charts at the end, if they give up that much, that's going to be quite a bit because then tomorrow what could end up happening is that you go up, you try to test the highs of today, you have lighter volume, then you set up a real rejection of higher price with lighter volume on the daily. Maybe on the daily. It's not going to be on the weekly because the weekly is going to have everything to do with the downside. You know? And guess what? We are going to know in 10 minutes with Amazon and Apple. Apple's at about 15 minutes. But there's no doubt that those those two, that's, that's going to make a big difference as to where the NDX 100 goes, where the market goes. Dow Industrials right now up 571. Nasdaq's up uh, 368. S&P's up 96. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. 
At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 577. NASDAQ's up 372. S&Ps are up uh, 97. Let's go inside the Dow and see the big movers uh, inside this Dow out here. You have uh, point-wise what we got. Well, there we go right there. So Salesforce is the number one. That's putting 72 positive points. United Health 66. Home Depot 64. Big Mac 46. Taken away from it, Amgen. Down... Put negative 70, Caterpillar negative 10. It's not, it's not a bad setup. Uh, we look inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Facebook was the big number. That's up 17.5%. PayPal, big one, 11.5%. Qualcomm, 9%. Autodesk, 8. Taken away from it. Align Technologies down 15. Automotive, uh, O'Reilly Automotive down 12. CMCSK, uh, that's Comstack. Comcast, yeah. Comcast down 6. Uh, and Amgen down four. Yeah, if you take a look at a line, this is a disaster, man. That's one of the targets are saying, what, is no one getting braces anymore? No one's paying the kind of money they want, that's for sure. So this had a low today of 270. You bring this back and you look at this equity, this is like a smoker too. I mean, this thing went from a price point of $700, 734, uh, hit a low out here at 270. So. You're talking about some real action. Let's get over and take a look at the Amazon quick. And uh, what happens with Apple, folks, is that uh, thanks for all the tigers and tigers in the den. I, I forgot about that. Apple comes out at 4.30, folks. Uh, it does not come out right after the close. Amazon, however, you can see right after the close. So my take is Amazon's going lower because it has this high volume lows that are out there. And it, listen, Amazon's an amazing company. I, uh, trust me, I, you know, that's, that's for sure. That being said, though, uh, when this thing actually broke the consolidation, it's like, okay, you know, it was game here, actually, it's 2,400. 24, that's how this is set up. And where that, that is from is that's how we came off of the lows, of the March lows. It was uh, about four months, four weeks later than that. So big numbers, no doubt about it. 
You got uh, volume. Let's go take a look at the uh, indice volume out here today. Inside the NYSE, you're at 743. We did a billion on the way down. That, that could do about 900 million. Inside the NASDAQ, you did uh, 4.5. That should do about 5 billion. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show. Look at him, folks.